Our next story takes us to Jacksonville, which is known for its extremely well-preserved history. Historic Jacksonville Incorporated is responsible for much of the preservation of the town's historical landmarks, including the Beekman House, which was once home to one of the most influential people in Oregon's history, Cornelius Beekman. A few times per year, Historic Jacksonville opens the Beekman House to public tours, complete with actors playing the roles of historical figures, bringing the past back to life. I wonder who's going to answer. Oh my goodness, I thought you were Mrs. Hoffman starting, stopping by for a visit. You are not Mrs. Hoffman. Just a visitor. <laughs> Please come in. Oh, well, thank you. Outside, you're in the 21st century. But when you walk through that front door, you're in 1932 Jacksonville. The country is deep in the Great, Re Great Depression. A fourth of Americans are unemployed. The Beekman children, they are now adults. Both of the parents have, have passed away, and the children are living in Portland. But they're home for the weekend, closing up their family home. And so they're, they're trying to decide, OK, what do we leave? What do we take with us? What not? When you come to call. Excuse me, I heard the doorbell ring, and I thought it was Aunt Kate. We have visitors. Well, I'm so glad you chose this day to visit. Ben and I have been so busy, we haven't had a chance to socialize. But my goodness, with the price of gasoline up to 10 cents a gallon now, it's a wonder you all were able to come. It was a hard journey. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. The Beekman family, they were probably the richest and most prominent of Jacksonville's pioneers. And Beekman had come here originally as an express rider for a company called Cram and Rogers in the early 1850s. And when the company went belly up, he bought their horses and stables and opened Beekman's Express. Because he was carrying gold, he went out and he bought a safe. And that became the first financial institution north of San Francisco. From there, though, he did open a bank, and he eventually became a Wells Fargo agent. And that sort of had him fixed for life. Come on upstairs. Just be sure and hold on to the railing. Ben and I were joking about how we used to scamper up these stairs but we don't scamper any longer. You told them that we have to be back in Portland next week. I did. And uh, we don't want to be rude. Ben, mother Why? would be horrified. I left her underwear out on display. I, just, I completely forgot. I set it aside because I thought those things might be good to add to our stack for the things for the poor farm. But my goodness, mother's pantalettes must be from 1890, um. 1900. Oh, look at all of these things, and here's Father's old, old lounge. You know what, I, I'll tell you the problem. The problem is, if this was somebody else's house, it would be easy, but it, we have so many memories, so many things that... I, I look at this and I think of all the times, as a boy, I could come up here and there's Father after work, relaxing, smoking his pipe, fire in the fireplace. Oh, that's great. You know, the pantaloons are bad enough, now we got the chamber pot out in the middle of the room. Come okay. to my room, it's much brighter and cheerier. Yeah. With a ball gown? Yes. Oh, a ball gown. You mean you actually danced here in Jacksonville? Yes. Mother never I... told me that. Well, this is my childhood room. Uh, I, I left in 1880 for the University of Oregon and never really returned to live. It is small, but you can see my, my bed, uh, butternut design. To my mother, because I feel that in the heavens above, the angels whispering to one another, can find among their burning terms of love none so devotional as that of Mother. Oh, you can see why he was always the apple of Mother's eye. Mother loves you. You may want to notice this picture on the wall on your way out. This is Father in 1878. Isn't that right, Terry? Yes. He's also a major philanthropist. He, he donated money to build a couple of the schools. The historic Presbyterian church, he bought the lot, paid for half of the building, and he frequently paid the minister's salary. He was also a town trustee for years. He was mayor for years. He was actually drafted as a candidate for governor of Oregon. He didn't want the job. He didn't campaign, but he lost by less than 70 votes. Father would be turning in his grave if he knew what was going on now in this country. 
People are in shanty towns, third they're of the population. Digging up, they're and digging up the streets. Digging in Jacksonville. up the streets here. Oh, Jackson County has more gold mines now than they ever had. In Jacksonville, rather than putting people on the dole, which was their welfare, they gave them mining permits. So people undermined virtually every inch of Jacksonville. And to this day, we still get cave-ins. People are camping in the streets. Camping, they're shooting venison at night, deer at night to, to, to survive, make moon, selling moonshine. In terms of what historic Jacksonville does, we've been around for over 10 years. And it started when the buildings were transferred to the city's ownership. And they really didn't have the staffing or the time to open them up and do things. But without tours and programs and events, they're just old buildings with names and dates on them. So we started the programming and activities. Our mission is really to bring our Jacksonville's history to life. I'm sure you're all curious to see the indoor facility. You know, my sister Julia, she was one of the first to have indoor facility. Cornelius paid $51.10 from the Sears catalog yes, right. for, the, for the fixtures. I know that's a lot of money, but they got all of them for that. But he, and he even money. ordered the, an extra large bathtub because he heard that President Taft got stuck in his bathtub and he didn't want that to happen to him. Of course, Taft, 300 pounds. Most of us, when we studied history, we learned it as names, dates, places, and battles. You memorize them for the test, you spit them out, and then you promptly forget them. But what history really is, it's the people and their stories. And that's what we try to share. And this is Julia's writing desk. And she could do her correspondence there. Oh, right on the corner is a photograph, a picture postcard of the Portland Hotel. And that's where Miss Carrie is going to join Ben. Have you heard of Peter Britt? He is a man from Switzerland that settled in Jacksonville in the early 1850s, opened a photographic studio, and has recorded our history for us in photographs. And here's some of them. He took these pictures, this is Cornelius, and this is Julia, soon after they were married. Oh, and the house we're standing in, right here, soon after they moved into it. Uh, the house itself is what you would call sort of modified classical revival. Beekman was not someone who showed off his wealth. So it's, it's what you would consider modest. The house is much larger than it looks so. Oh, and my sister had a very modern kitchen, and she even redecorated and redid it in 1901. Oh, and Mrs. Louise Hoffman. is here. Hi. Oh, nice it's to see so you. It's so nice to have you come. It's nice a hard weekend you. for the children closing up the house. You know, Louise came to work for the family, what, when you were a young girl? Just a young girl. And you worked for them for like? 12 years. Oh, 12 years. No wonder she's like a member of the family. <laughs> so set a place for me, because I get to stay for dinner. I'll set a place so for nice you. to have you here. Pleasure Hi, to meet Mr. you. <laughs> so the Beekmans were always so good to me and my family, but really working for the Beekmans was more like a luxury than a job. Why, do you know they paid me $25 a month? I had a day off every week, and I even had my own room with a private entrance. But really, my chores were not that bad. In 1904, the Beekmans installed the sanitary sink right over there. But prior to that, their cook and housekeeper had to haul water from the well out back approximately 16 times a day and then haul the dirty water back outside again. So by the time I started working here and had indoor water, it was much, much easier. And the old stove, it's sure a beautiful stove, but I must admit, it's much easier for me to use the gas stove that I have at home now. It's so much easier to just turn the knobs to get the temperature of the items that you want. Back then, you had to stoke the fire and move all the items to get the temperature, and it took a lot to learn how to use it, but I got pretty proficient at using it at, uh, after being here for all those years. Is this a waffle maker? It is! <laughs> well, Carolyn, thank you for talking to us today. Thank Absolutely. you for having us out here. It's really good to run Likewise. into you again. This is yet another us as we are time travel adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for visiting us, and I hope that you'll come back and see us again sometime soon. Well, certainly. Thank you for having thank us. You. This is a very pleasant visit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes all of you so passionate about living history and coming and participating in doing these, uh, these recreations? Well, I've lived in Jacksonville 50 years, and you can't miss history if you live here. So you get involved in it. And I just love the opportunity to bring history alive. I retired from 50 years of teaching, and uh, 
the former director of the Oregon Historical Society said, I have a Carrie Beekman feeling about you. And I had no idea what that meant, but now I do. Uh, my <clears throat> my great grandfather came to the valley in 1856, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of a lot of pioneer history here. So it's kind of fun to be part of it. I've played Ben Beekman so long, I really feel I am Ben Beekman, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's it's just a very interesting thing to be a part of another era. Yes, we're here in all different capacities. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of tours of Beekman House, and we welcome guests <clears throat> all the time. Mother loved me best. <laughs> 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 <laughs>